Hey guys, it's Justine, and today we are checking out the brand new Sony WH-1000XM4. This is an updated version to the M3, which was one of my favorite headphones the past year. The noise cancellation was incredible. Look at this, right here. Industry leading noise cancellation. That I'm excited to hear, or I guess not hear, the difference. Let's unbox and then we'll talk about some of the features because these headphones have a lot of features packed into them. You've seen nothing. Easy setup. A one, a two. That's it, two. There's two steps. One of the things that I loved about the previous version, and I'm also glad it is in this one as well, is the rose gold accents. Beautiful. This also is taking me back to last year when I first got this pair. It was at Camera Camp. Camera Camp was an event that my sister and I did with Sony and we had the best time ever. And unfortunately we weren't able to do it this year. So now these headphones are just reminding me of how much fun we had at that event. Look at this, I like this because I have all my headphones actually hung up in my closet. So this is nice, I can just add that right there to the hook. <laughs> They do come in two colors. The other one is more of a silverish beige color, and these are the black version. Oh my gosh. We've also got some cables, 3.5 millimeter jack. We've got this for airplanes. When will I use you again? I can't wait. And a USB-C cable to charge. So I like that there's not a lot of buttons. This does have two buttons right here. There's a custom and the power button. The actual sides are touch sensitive, so you're able to control the music. And there's even a really cool feature where if you put your hand over your ear, it'll then activate the microphones around and you'll be able to hear the outside world. My music is playing. Okay, hand over the ear and guess what? I can hear you. Tyler, say something. Ah. I mean, I knew I could hear you already, but I'm just... <laughs> it's a great time. Okay, now I'm gonna take my hand up. One of the big differences though, just looking at this, especially inside of the left ear cup, it has a proximity sensor. This is brand new to these headphones and this will allow you to take your headphones off and your music or your TV show will pause. So it'll know when you have these on and when you have them off. There's a ton more settings in the accompanying app. Time to switch to another device. One of the things that's updated in this version is you can connect it to multiple devices at the same time. So if you're on your phone or on your laptop, you'll be able to switch between the two and and you don't have to go in and automatically connect it to Bluetooth each time. Okay, I'm listening to my music. Now I'm gonna hit play on this YouTube video. YouTube video playing. Hey guys, it's just Jane, and today we are checking I out. I can't hear you, so that's WH Hi, Maddie! MX4. This is an updated version to the M adaptive sound control. Yeah, I'll use I'll use it. This actually uses GPS to figure out what your location is and where you are and how these should be adapting to it. <gasps> the 360 reality audio setup. This is awesome. You actually scan your ear. Well, you take a picture of it and then it sort of scans it for you. Let's do it. Take a photo of your ears for analysis. Analyze your ear shape. Please bring the camera closer. Turn your head slowly to the right. Ah! Captured photo. Ah! Ah! Oh, that's my ear! Turn your head slowly to the left. Please do not move the smartphone. Oh my god, my ears are... I wouldn't say beautiful, they're kind of weird looking, but that's fine. Analyzing my ears! Are my ears gonna get a grade? 360 Reality Audio isn't available everywhere because you do have to optimize your music or your videos or TV shows for it. We actually tested at CES, it was the Sony car, it was like a concept car, and it had 360 Reality Audio in it, and it was awesome. It was such a crazy immersive experience, so fun. So while I listen to some music, let me tell you about some of the top features of these headphones. 
The first highlight for me, not counting the improved noise cancellation, is the multi-device connection. This will automatically switch from phone to your computer, back to my phone again, and then back to my computer when I'm editing, and then back to my phone when I start listening to music. So that's been super helpful. These are rated for 30 hours of battery life with noise cancellation, and you only need to charge these for 10 minutes, and that will give you five hours of playback. The ear pads have added 10% more surface area to give you more contact, and the head cushion and band curve were also redesigned for more comfort. I actually used to sleep with my M3s all the time when I was on flights. They were so comfortable and the noise cancellation was so amazing that I would sleep the entire way. Unless somebody woke me up and had snacks, then I'm up. The app on your phone integrates really well with these. It lets you customize a lot of different features. My favorite is the personal noise canceling optimizer. It determines the atmospheric pressure around you. And on flights, this would make such a huge difference. The motion sensor is the biggest addition to these over the M3. This allows for wear detect. So when they aren't being worn, they will pause whatever's playing and eventually turn off to save battery. This now has five microphones for improved voice quality for calls and to assist with precise voice pickup. This is kind of cool because if you do decide to turn this on, when you start speaking, your voice will activate the ambient sound so you can hear everything that's happening around you. And when you're done, you just double tap the right side or you can wait 30 seconds. The noise cancellation is on. Like I, I really can't hear anything except this music. Now I'm going to turn on speak to chat. So as soon as I turn speak to chat on, we'll see what happens. Now I'm talking and oh my gosh, it stopped. The ambient sound turned on, like I can hear everything. So if you want to stop this, you can hit double tap. My music has resumed. Oh, no, okay, no, it hasn't because now I'm talking again. So the thing is, is speak to chat turns on the ambient sound and off the noise cancellation so that you can hear things happening around you. I forgot that I had this turned on before and I was sitting at my computer testing these out and I started singing to the song that I had playing and then my music stopped and, and then I heard myself singing and the song went away. I was like, but wait, what? So here's all of the gestures that you can use for playback control. Double tap to play or pause, swipe forward for next track, swipe backward for previous track, swipe forward and hold to fast forward, and then release when you want to start playback. You can do the same if you want to reverse, just swipe backwards and hold. To control the volume, you just have to swipe up and swipe down. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check out these headphones. I'm so excited that Sony added a lot of really great improvements to the M4s, and I would say that I would see or hear you guys later, but I'm gonna go play some video games.